Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good wherever you guys are. Guys, I wanted to do this video because uh, my my good friend, subscriber, Claude, uh, Cyber Phillips, I think that's what he, that's what his name goes on the evening, but I know he, he's, his um, YouTube name is Claude, um, has said that he wants me to talk about uh, Max Kellerman's um, Max Kellerman's um, interview about him talking about Canelo's pay structure. Saying that he feels that Canelo's pay structure is the problem why these big fights aren't happening between Benavidez and these other guys. That Canelo demands a certain amount of money. Uh, and unfortunately, the pay structure just doesn't allow these fights to happen. Um, obviously, Canelo's a big star, right? So Canelo would demand a certain amount of money. Um, and especially if he if he feels that he's feeling taking a tough fight, uh, he's going to command a certain amount of money. Now, is there enough money in these fights? Because you got to realize is that when they're fighting Canelo, these guys want to be paid as well. So Benavidez, he's going to be want to paid at least 15 mil. So if Canelo's asking for 50 mil, that's 65 mil. Is that fight going to generate? Possibly, probably could. But... Is Canelo's pay structure the issue here? Is what Canelo's asking for? Like, for example, Canelo lost to Bivol and then he's asking for the same amount of money. So that's an issue because the pay structure, like when you lose a fight, it's not the same. You know, you, you get less. But Canelo has a certain demand when he fights and he wants that demand fulfilled. So are these stopping the fights? So Canelo being offered 50 million. Is that the issue? Is that, is that the issue? Is it the pay structure? Is it the way that, that he structures his deals? I don't think so, personally. Because Canelo asked for 50 million. We know that he's been getting 50 million. I don't know if he got that against Ryder. And I don't know if he gets that if he fights a, a lower level of opposition. Like maybe a fight that's not that called for, like a Ryder. But anyone he fights of any kind of significance that we see as a a biggish fight, he gets around 50 million. This is something that is common knowledge. So I don't really think the pay structure is an issue. I think people, I think, I think, uh, I think people maybe are looking, like maybe Max Kellerman, Max Kellerman likes Canelo. Maybe he's looking for an excuse for why the fights aren't happening. Uh, maybe the fights, just, I just think that the fights are generally not happening because... Is it that everyone's got a different agenda? You know, is it the fact that David Benavidez is playing games? Is it the fact that Canelo just doesn't fancy it? You know, there could be multiple reasons uh, why some fights don't happen. Um, but the pay structure, I just don't think so. That that is a problem, to be honest. I don't like Canelo. Obviously, commands a lot of money. And I do think that for the Bivol fight, Bivol deserves more for the rematch. Because, I mean, that's not fair. He beat Canelo. And if Canelo wants to fight him at 175, it doesn't make sense. What what does Bivol get? If if he's not even going to get a bigger increase in pay, then what does Bivol really get? And the problem is, if Bivol wants more, that fight's probably going to generate as much as it's just going to generate. I don't think the fact that Bivol beat him the first time, that fight's going to generate a huge amount more. So then if Canelo wants the same amount of money, then his pay does become an issue. And that's when I think what Max Kellerman is trying to say, that Canelo may have demands that are unrealistic with the fact that he lost the fight to Bivol. In that particular fight, you can't be then going in because Bivol has got nothing to gain fighting you. All right? He's got nothing to gain apart from bag of dough. And if he's not going to get an increase in bag of dough, what he got paid the first time, then he's kind of thinking, what am I fighting this guy for? Again, I beat him already. There's no motive. There's no incentive. Like, that's why he wanted to fight him at 168, because he probably thought that I can win a belt. But Canelo doesn't want to do that either. So Canelo, it seems like Canelo wants everything his way, which is fair. He's the star. He's the A-side and he deserves the, the treatment. But... At the same time, if you're all about the legacy and you want to prove people that that you 
you don't like the fact that he beat you and you want to come back and beat him, then you've got to take that you've got to take that fight maybe for a little bit less. Because it shouldn't all be about money for Canelo at this point. Canelo's made a lot of money and he's financially sorted for life. So he, the, look, the, the, I don't think the pay structure is is stopping the the Benavidez side fight. I think the Bivol fight, yes, possibly. Because I think that fight generates a certain amount of money. And I think Canelo's demands might be unreasonable with his own. Uh, because the zone have made a lot. They, look, the zone have made a lot of of like. I don't think the zone have been that profitable to be honest with you. And I don't know whether they want to keep hemorrhaging money. Or they want to keep pumping in money, keep pumping in, and not gaining. And and that's why I think the zone want to be smart as well in in doing these fights because you gotta realize that Canelo is the kind of fighter that he, he's the kind of fighter that's gonna make you money. The last thing you want to do is that you want to be losing money on Canelo because that's the purpose you bring someone like Canelo to the platform you pay him huge money so then he can add subscriptions to your platform get more eyes on your platform and that gives your platform a, a bigger chance of making a profit down the long run and getting your getting your channel more exposure so that's the purpose of bringing Canelo to the platform i don't know how successful it's been because if you look at all the big fights that canelo's had recently and i'm talking about a lot of the fights that he's on his own even the golovkin canelo numbers i don't think they did that big like i think the biggest fight he's been involved in wasn't even on his own and that was caleb plant i think that did 750 to 800 thousand pay-per-view buys that was rumored around the time now if that's true I don't know. I don't think the Canelo Golovkin numbers did that, to be honest. And that's what, for me personally, that tells me that Canelo Alvarez's numbers on DAZN haven't been outstanding, which means that the pay structure, what he's demanding, is a problem. Hence why. I think the Charlo fight is more realistic because I think that does similar numbers to the to the Caleb Plant fight. And and that's why I think he could probably get paid 50 million for that fight. So the pay structure cuz Canelo like as big as Canelo is Canelo in my opinion if he's charging 50 million dollars a fight, I don't think that's realistic against every opponent. Because if he's fighting Ryder, I'm pretty sure he must have taken less than 50. Because there's no way that fight's going to generate anywhere near that. Because even if you pay Ryder 3 million, which is a massive payday for Ryder, it's still 53 million. But that fight's not going to generate 53 million dollars. It's not going to generate that. I don't think it is. Is that fight going to generate 53 million? No, I don't see it. So I think Canelo would have had to take less in that for a fight like that. How much less, I don't know. But obviously, Max Kellerman, if he's saying that Canelo Alvarez's pay structure is a problem, he obviously must have some inside knowledge that we don't know because he's an insider. So he must have heard something or know somebody that's saying that, look, this is the issue why some of the, these fights aren't happening. It's Canelo's demands, his pay structure. Um, but really, only, only guys around Canelo, you know, those guys know if that's the issue. With Badu Jack, the fight didn't happen. And, and Canelo's got to... Be careful about this because a lot of people have criticized Canelo in the past of draining fires. And I thought this was bizarre. Badu Jack came out and criticized Canelo that, look, you go and fight Benavidez. I'm not making 180. And Eddie Hearn was trying to defend Canelo that, look, Canelo is ridiculous for Canelo to go up to 190. You know, because Badu Jack was willing to come down to 190, but he wasn't going to come down to 180 and then have a rehydration clause. That makes Canelo look so bad. And Hearn's defending that, that, oh, there's no way Canelo is dangerous. This, that. So why, why, why entertain that fight then? Why entertain a fight with Badu Jack? It's only going to hurt Canelo's, because that's what people are going to say, that Canelo's draining this guy, this, that, the other. So why does Canelo, why does Canelo even do stuff like that? This is what I'm trying to say. Like, he makes himself look bad. There's no reason for Canelo to even fight Badu Jack, right? But then you can't say, I'm going to fight Badu Jack, and then you're going to put some clauses on him. That's ridiculous. Because basically what you're saying is, 
that you're going to get a massive payday. But in order for you to get that payday, you're going to have to give fighting handicapped in a way. Because obviously, if you're putting a rehydration clause and you're making him come down to 180, then you're basically putting clauses on him. You're making him weaker as a fighter. Right? It's like him handing the belt over to you for the payday that you'll get for the payday that he's getting. You know, and I don't like it. And this is why I think Canelo should shouldn't do that. He shouldn't get involved in stuff like that. Because I, I think the Charlo fight I like because there's gonna be no clauses, it's gonna be a proper fight. The Badu Jack fight, like if you're gonna fight Badu Jack or you wanna fight him, I don't have a problem with that. Go and fight him at 200 pounds. And if you feel that you is too much, that's too much weight. Okay, weighing at once. 75 or 180 let him come 20 pounds heavy i mean badu jack right isn't a big puncher right canelo alvarez should beat badu jack at 39 years of age it doesn't matter what weight it doesn't matter what weight canelo alvarez should beat badu jack the fact that badu jack is 39 years of age if canelo can't beat badu jack then he should retire and i'm saying at any weight no matter what weight Canelo fights Badu Jack in, he's a massive favourite. Because Badu Jack is old. And and we're not talking about... Although Badu Jack, look, Badu Jack's a great fighter, had a great career, he's never been on the level of Canelo Alvarez. The, the skill gap is massive. And Canelo, and Canelo, like I said, he's still in his... In, like, he's still more near his prime than what Badu Jack is. Badu Jack's 39. You know, so... For me, I, I don't think that that's just not a good look for Canelo. So, yeah, these are f few things that I've uh, I wanted to raise. But let me know your opinion. Let me know what you think uh, in the comment section below. Uh, I know some of you are going to criticize. Oh, doing too many Canelo videos is this was a request from one of my from one of my subscribers. So I had to address it. Um, if you guys want me, you know, what I would say is if you do watch it to the end the video to the end please give me ideas or tell me because there's a lot of videos that I, I can do the problem is is there's an, like I feel like there's not a lot happening at the minute you know there's Spence and Crawford which obviously I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a uh, double down on soon but there's not a lot happening else you know there's this stuff about just give me just give, give me uh, you know tell me what you want me to talk about and I'll talk about it so yeah, leave your thoughts guys, let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the next video, peace.